Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to add some really cool animated text graphics in Final Cut Pro 10. So here are a whole bunch of different text um, graphics. Now just to kind of clear the air, this does cost money. This plugin is from Pixel Film Studios and I believe it costs $40, $45. So it's definitely a pretty uh, pricey plugin, but you literally get hundreds and hundreds of text animations. So I just want to let you know, yes, this is a plugin from Pixel Film Studios and it does cost uh, like a significant um, amount of money just to let you know but I want to kind of go over some of my favorites and hopefully that will maybe convince you to um, buy the effect um, I'm not sponsored at all no one's paying me uh, Pixel Film Studios is not sponsoring this video at all. I'm literally just going through some of my favorites and then giving you an idea of whether or not um, you want to download this so I'm going to go ahead here to the text uh, icon right here as you can see here are all the different texts right here here are all the different text animations I believe this um, pack comes with over 200 um, and 50 um, text animations so you can see there's flicker there's distort uh, it just keeps going there's geometric right there so you could do some geometric shapes uh, geometric text right there um, you have gradient text right here kind of keeps going down you these negative text um, and then you have the repeat text I believe that might might be it I can't remember you know, there's the retro text right there and then the trails text right here so here are all the different text animations um, this plugin has to offer and I basically went through all 200 of them or 250 of them I went ahead and picked my favorite um, text effects and you obviously you already saw the intro and then I just showed it um, right there I'm going to go through each one of these text effects as you can see right here here is the name of the text effect um, right there so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and they're just going to play each of them right here so you can see right here this is just basic one so let's go ahead and play it right here and that is basic one right there now let's go to the second one right here this one is basic eight right here let's go ahead and play basic eight right there and there we go the next one this is basic 19 so let's go ahead and play it right there and that's basic 19. okay this is um flicker number one as you can see right here so go ahead and play flicker one right there there we go there's flicker number one this is just flicker number two right here let's go over to this one right here this is flicker number three right there let's go ahead over to the next one right here flicker number eight right there let's head over to this one right here this is um flicker number 19 right there so you can see i think the flicker effects for me are the favorite are my favorite ones so let's head over here this is flicker number 22 um let's head over to right here this is flicker number 24 um right there and then let's go ahead over here flicker number 33 right here it's flicker number 33 right there and then let's head over to this one right here this is gradient number 17 right there and then head over to the next one negative 15 right here and then i'm going to head over to this one right here this is negative 25 um negative 25 right there so you have negative 15 right there and then you have negative 25 right there this one right here is the repeat 22 which is one definitely one of my favorite ones besides the flicker effects and then this one right here is trails 10 right there so those are the whole all the different um effects right here so basic number one basic number eight basic number 19 flicker one flicker two flicker three um, flicker 8, uh, flicker 19, flicker 22, uh, flicker 24, flicker 33, flicker 17, I mean uh, gradient 17, 
negative um, 15, and then negative 25, negative 22, and negative 10 right there. Now, if you if you are doing this one right here, and you say, wait a minute, there is an x-ray effect. All you can do is just scroll down here, and then, as you can see right here, you can turn the x-ray negative effect on and off. And that kind of leads me to the next point, which is how to edit the text. So, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna click on the text right here. So click on this text uh, right there. And then you wanna go to this icon right here. This text icon, as you can see right here, here you go. Here is your scale, here's your position, here is your rotation. You can kinda go through it. Uh, you have your camera controls right here. You can change your text right here. And then you have all of these style controls right here. And you can mess with it. Now to be, uh, keep in mind, these aren't super manual. You can't really control everything, but you can definitely control a whole bunch of different things go to this one right let's just go ahead and select a random one right here same thing right here the same all the different uh, uh the different um, settings you can go through and mess with a whole bunch of different things um right there you can mess with the text you just kind of scroll through it mess with a whole bunch of different settings now a couple things i want to cover right there um is this right here you if you if i play this video right here you can see it has a lot of uh, same thing with this thing. As you can see, it flashes a uh, flashes a lot. You can actually go ahead and just turn the flashes, the flash on and off. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there is no there is uh, no flash um, right there. So you can do that with all the different flicker effects. You can just mess with the flash effect. Same thing with the negative right here. You can go ahead and just turn the negative on and off. Now, it, it gives you some manual control, but just keep in mind you're not going to have complete manual control over every single little thing. Uh, but you definitely have a, a whole bunch of different manual controls. You can definitely mess with a whole bunch of different things. Now if you're wondering, okay, how, how do I, I'm, I'm scrolling through this, but I don't see how I can change like the style of the font. What you want to do is you want to click on the text right here. You want to go to edit text. Click on the text right here. And now you want to double click on the text right there. Make sure you have the whole text um, selected. And then as you can see right here, now you could control the different fonts. So let's say we wanted this font right here. And then there you go. But I'm just going to keep it on future because that's what I like. Uh, let's go ahead. You can, as you see, you have a whole bunch of different settings um, right here, and you can just mess with a whole bunch of different things um, right there. So it's definitely a really cool um, thing to do. Now, if you want to get back, you want to go to the text icon right here, and you want to unclick or unclick the edit text right there, and then there you go. It's just back to normal. So you can edit the text that way, and you can change the colors. You can do a whole bunch of manual controls over the text right here, and that's pretty much it. I just want to kind of go over some of my, I think, I think like 15 or 16. I want to go through some of my top like 15, 16 text effects, and hopefully one, hopefully one of those um, caught your eye. Uh, it's definitely a lot harder to do that manually, so hopefully one of these caught your attention. It's very, very difficult to manually animate text. It's much easier when they're just um, presets, but yes, it does cost money. So not everyone is not this. Um, plugin is not for everyone but hopefully maybe you're one of those people that you know you're interested in this plugin definitely go and check it out put the link in the description below anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace